Welcome to this episode. I have finally made it. I've just had a really rough few months where I really struggled with uh, what life was throwing at me. And I think a huge factor uh, to what was going on was uh, just the effects of the lack of sleep that I was getting. So I think from now on, I'm really going to have to focus on maximizing the time that I have available to me to work on the watch and work on my projects. Really just hone in and be super effective of making every minute count and I think that is probably the right way to go to achieving my goals. This week I picked up where I left off um, in the last episode so I'm making the click and click spring seat for the watch. If you don't know what these are or their function let me explain. The function of the click is to allow the ratchet wheel to turn in one direction only this direction being the direction to wind the mainspring within the barrel. You see, when you wind the crown of a watch, it's connected to what's called the stem. And when the crown is in the pushed in position, the teeth of the sliding pinion engage the teeth of the winding pinion. Now the winding pinion engages the crown wheel on the barrel bridge via this slot. And you can see this engagement here. The crown wheel then turns the ratchet wheel, which winds the mainspring via the barrel arbor. When the mainspring is out of the barrel, it looks like this. Once it is in the barrel, its unwound position looks like this. For this purpose of the explanation, I'm going to call this its resting state. The ratchet turns the barrel arbor and the mainspring coils tightly around it. However, like any spring which is compressed, it just wants to get back to its resting position. Because the mainspring isn't powerful enough to overcome the jamming force of the click, it can't unwind via the barrel arbor. And so all the unwinding force turns the barrel wheel as the end of the spring engages the barrel wheel wall here. The barrel wheel is connected to the gear train of the watch and the speed at which the mainspring unwinds is regulated by the balance and escapement. So I hope that made sense to some people. I know I'm not the best at explaining things, so I apologize if that made no sense. So I decided to turn uh, the click seat first for the full diameter. going to use my 0.5 millimeter tool to come back and do the recess of the click spring which is about one millimeter wide um, I snapped the tip of the tool before I had even a chance to make a mark on the workpiece it's a real shame because that was a really nice tool it worked well and I made it myself by hand so that is a shame I thought about remaking the tool straight away but then I thought if I was gonna make these watches uh, in the future that I wanted a tool specific for the job that actually handles it a bit um, that is a bit easier and quicker to use
And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any of my upcoming videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or something you want to say, feel free to leave it in the comment section below.